Dr. Doan here. Lots of people have asked me how to verify that their sockets or outlets in their home are properly grounded. So I'm going to show you here how to check your outlets using a multimeter and measuring the ohms. Let's get started. Here's what you need. You need a multimeter that can actually read resistances, typically in ohms right here. You need an outlet splitter. And the reason why I use this is that there's prongs that are plastic that are not conductive to put into the outlet so that you don't get electrocuted if you stick the probe into the wrong hole in the outlet. And then the ground port is metal. On this side is a splitter, so you can actually just uh, stick anything in there and it won't, uh, it will be grounded and not draw any electricity. You have a outlet checker to make sure that it's properly wired and grounded. Most people think that this is the device that tells you that you're grounded, not necessarily. There's a lot of homes that will actually show that these are properly wired, but when you check for the actual grounding quality, it's quite low. This is an earthing grounding rod. You can use anything. You can use a metal barbecue skewer, a copper pipe, anything you want to drive in the ground. This is only a, a foot and a half long or so, and so it's easy for me to insert into the, the earth. You need banana clips here to connect the one of the probes to this grounding rod. So I picked a spot that is convenient. You can see that there is an outlet here, and then there is um, the main electrical box here for the house. And so typically near this main of the house where the electricity enter the house, that's where the main ground for the house is going to be. And so what we're trying to measure is what is the resistance between the ground, the earth, to the outlet, through the wiring, and then through the electrical main ground, okay? And so that resistance is going to be important in determining the quality of your ground. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drive it right next to the plant because the plants have roots and the roots go down further and plants do provide earthing and grounding. So that's a nice area to actually check for proper grounding. While I set things up, I'm gonna run the hose here just to get the ground wet to make the area conductive so that we get good measurements. So this is just the grounding checker. You can see that when I insert it in here, both lights come on, that means it's properly wired. Let's check both outlets just in case. Okay, this does not tell me that the outlet is grounded adequately. It just says that the wiring is, is proper, that there's no hot wires, the wires aren't crossed. But keep in mind that just because these lights come on does not necessarily tell you that you have a good ground that you can actually use your earthing device and not feel consequences. This device here, those plugs right there are plastic, so it doesn't draw electricity. And so those two holes are two holes that are grounded. This is my multimeter, and I'm going to turn it to ohms, and it should read overload, meaning that there's a broken circuit. But when I connect these two together, we have less than 0.2 ohms resistance. Next, I'm going to insert this red probe into the grounding. And keep in mind that the reason why I'm not inserting directly into the outlet is because unless you're a qualified electrician, I don't want you to mess around with the outlet sticking probes where they should not be long. So by using this device, which has no electricity running through it, it's just two grounding ports connected to the grounding port of the outlet. And that's the reason why I'm demonstrating with this device. Using the banana clips, I'm just going to clip to the earthing rod there and clicking to the black probe of the multimeter. I'm going to turn on the water and checking the voltmeter you see it's less than 9,000 ohms resistance. Keep in mind what we're measuring is the resistance that is from the outlet through the house wiring down the main ground and then to the earth and then to the earthing rod. So therefore 9,000 ohm resistance is very minimal. And this is a very well grounded house. I get good earthing and grounding here. My body voltage drops when I put earthing devices in. 
Thank you for tuning in. So that's basically how you check if your outlets are properly grounded in your home. Now, keep in mind that I picked an outlet right next to the main electrical outside. However, I could have done this with any electrical outlets in the home, except I would have had to run a wire from my grounding rod all the way through the house to where whatever outlet I was testing. Also, you can check the quality of your ground by how much your body voltage drops with your grounding or earthing device. So keep in mind that you should see a body voltage drop of about 90 to 95%. So therefore, if your body voltage is one volt, you should see your body voltage drop below 100 millivolts. Thank you for tuning in today. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe for future earthing and grounding videos. Until next time, have a great day.